What is a standard deviation and how important it is for your dashboard? Well, it's very simple to understand and I explain you this with this example. So first, let's take the result of an exam. The minimum mark is 0 and the maximum is 20. And in this first scenario, all the students have exactly 10. Obviously, the average is 10. Now, in the second example, half of the population of the classroom have 0, the lowest mark, and the second half has 20, the maximum mark. In this case, again, the average is 10. But of course, in this situation, the analyze of the first exam compared to the second exam is totally different, even if the average is the same. And this is where the standard deviation is going to help us to analyze the average. So, in the first situation, what is the value of the standard deviation? Well, it's zero. Why? It's because there is absolutely no variation between the average and the mark of all my students. But in the second example, the standard deviation is 10, very important, because there is a huge difference between each mark and the average. But now, let's take this realistic example. Here, we are around 10 for the average, and the standard deviation is around 1, because, as you can notice on the chart, most of the results are around the average. It's okay. But now, in this other exam, now the difference between the minimum mark and the maximum is very important. This is why, in this situation, the standard deviation is much more important than in the previous result. Now, how to understand the result written by the function standard deviation? Well, it depends on the range between the minimum and the maximum and also the context. So, if I return to the second example with the exam where half of my students have 0 and the other half have 20, this is a worse situation because all the marks have exactly 10 points between the minimum or maximum compared to the average. This is why the standard deviation is 10. But now, if I consider this example where I have the temperature of my chipset in my computer, of course, the temperature is moving all the time. This is why, even if the range is between 65 or 73 degrees, this is a normal use of my computer, and the standard deviation here is 2.5. But now, if I run an application that needs a lot of memory, of course the temperature will increase, and after, the decrease of the temperature will take time. This is why, in this case, the standard deviation is 9.2, but it's okay, because it's included in the range between the min and the max. Last example, this time I manufacture screw, and it's very important for me to control the length of each screw. So you can see here that the gap between the min and the max is very small. This is why in this context, the standard deviation must be a very low value. And even if I change, for instance, this length, like this, so I exceed my limit, the standard deviation is still very small.